Hey guys and girls, remember National Hunting and Fishing Day is September 25, which is just right around the corner. And I want to spend this week kind of throwing a video up every day, just kind of a throw up video. Just throw a video up every day, talking a little bit about National Hunting and Fishing Day. And what you need to do right now is plan on going fishing and or hunting September 25. Dove season is open in a lot of places. Teal season, early goose season is open some places. If you get carry on up there really far north, uh, you can get into Canada and then you can hunt all kinds of ducks and everything this time of the year. So you can actually go hunting and fishing both September 25. And I'm thinking about a lot of the fish stories and things that I've done and things that happened to me in my at a younger age that were so special and memories that still pop into my mind all the time. And it's what this game of fishing and hunting is all about. It's a family oriented game and you know I was talking to Pat Turner who runs my production company. Pat Turner has been with me for about I don't know 30 years or so. He's older than I am. He's older than dirt but he's been with me for a long long time and he was telling me a story one time and I probably won't get this story a whole exactly right but I'll get it as close as I can. But he was telling me they like to go to Galveston and they just take their whole family to Galveston and Pat's got lots of brothers and sisters. He's actually got a twin brother. His twin brother a lot better looking than he is. Looks just like him, but he's a lot better looking than he is. But uh, but but they, they get the whole family together, the brothers and sisters and in-laws and outlaws, and rent two or three houses down there at Galveston. Just have a good time every summer. It's just you know sometimes you get families get to go into certain places and 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 they just go back year after year after year. And I think that's fantastic. My family went to Lake Tenkiller, you know, every summer for vacation, and obviously that imprinted fishing in me. But but Pat was telling me one time when Luke and Luke is like 25 years old. Now. Luke is 25 years old now and when he was like five years old and they were fishing off the pier and uh, and he caught a five pound hammerhead shark at five years old five years old and 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 and, and they were down there uh, just the other day on vacation within the last three or four weeks and they were talking about that 20 years later and reliving that that happening 20 years later that's what fishing is all about that's why this game is so exciting to me and why I love to do it I, every single day if I can. I, I don't get to go every day, but I go every day. And, and Pat was telling me how uh, he, they, it was 15 foot down to the water. They're fishing on a pier. They're not out in a boat. They're not on the surf. They're on a pier, and it's 15 or 20 foot down to the water. And he's got a little spinning rod there. You know, he's five years old, little bitty tiny guy. He's five years old, and he's got to be over there, and he gets his fish on, and his rod has been over almost to the water, and he's screaming, Dad, 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 I, was, I got something, I got something. And, 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 he, and so they get over there, and, and Pat that's helping him fight it and as they get it up to the top it's a five pound hammerhead shark now I don't know five pound hammerhead sharks about that long <laughs> to that little boy it was 12 foot long I got to tell you it was 12 foot long and they get that up there and they actually wound it up 15 foot to the top and got it up there and landed a five pound shark now I don't know how many five-year-olds will get a chance to do that not many but I'm telling you if Luke lives to be 100, he will still remember that. His dad will be about 180 at that time, but, you know, I mean, but, but he will remember that. It'll be something special. And that's what fishing is all about. So plan on going fishing September 25. You know about 30% uh, of all the people in the United States have a fishing license? That's right, a lot of fishermen here. So plan on taking somebody fishing with you. Don't go by yourself, take somebody, find you a neighbor, Take your wife, take your, your aunt, your uncle, niece, a nephew, grandkid, take somebody fishing with me. Go fishing September 25, National Hunting and Fishing Day. You know you can also post up on our, our bragging board uh, on the National Hunting and Fishing Day website. Post your bragging pictures up there. You don't have to be fish caught that day, but post some bragging pictures up there and you got a chance to win some really, really cool prices. National Hunting and Fishing Day, September 25. If you got a chance, do both. What am I going to be doing September 25? By golly, I promise you, I'll be fishing. Guys and girls, I sure do love you.